I hear this very commonly from people who say, well, I have my Wix or my Weebly or my Squarespace or my blogger site, but it's not making me number one in Google. I'm not getting the phone calls, the emails that I want, and my business is not moving. I'm not getting the traction that I wanted. And what I say is, look, would you put the future of your business in an automated do-it-yourself program that doesn't know you, doesn't care about you, and sees 10 million or more people every day, and it, you're just another number to it. And they say, oh, no, I wouldn't do that. But you have done it. And then you complain that you're not getting the results you wanted. It would be like, you know, dating a robot or something. Why would you do that when you know you're not going to get the results that you want, right? Yeah. Yeah. But people, people do it all the time. So um, what I always do to explain budgeting in a broad sense is to contextualize it. And I use what you just said. So when people ask me about budgeting, how do I budget? I say, well, first of all, you're not buying, buying kumquats at a grocery store. You're not buying a single item. It's not a one and done. You're participating in what is an ongoing process meant to promote your business over a prolonged period of time because it's not going to mm -hmm. stop next week. It goes on. You're promoting a business. So it's a service that is a process that continually needs fine tuning and updating and tweaking to make sure that you're getting out what you want. Yeah. 